Strickland, and you can tell from the graphic behind us, it is time for us to start talking about hurricane season. Yes, unfortunately, as we start the month off of May, we get closer to the start of hurricane season. And here in South Carolina, we haven't seen a landfalling hurricane since Hurricane Matthew back in 2016. Although in my mind, Darcy, that doesn't seem like that long ago. It doesn't seem that long ago. News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith talks about these storms and how they typically have an impact on the Midlands. This week is National Hurricane Preparedness Week. The official hurricane season begins June 1st and lasts through November 30th. Even with this, we have now seen named tropical systems from before the start of the season seven years in a row. Here in South Carolina, our shorter coastline means we haven't seen as many landfalls as our neighbor to the north. But still, since 1950, nine hurricanes have made landfall in the Palmetto State. When it comes to these storms, there are three main threats we look for, damaging winds, flooding, and storm surge. John Cangliosi, a senior hurricane specialist at the National Hurricane Center, says out of those three threats, the rain can often pose the biggest threat to life. So um, the main message is, historically, water is the problem in tropical cyclones. A lot of fixation on the category, a lot of fixation on the wind, but we need people to not not just focus on that, but think about what the hazards could be that are really, unfortunately, killing people, which are rain and surge along the coastline. Those are, tend to be the biggest problems. One storm that didn't make landfall in South Carolina, but still caused a lot of issues. Hurricane Florence back in 2018, a category one storm in North Carolina, but then it moved into South Carolina as a tropical storm. It dropped quite a bit of rain across the Carolinas. In fact, taking a look at things, the Palmetto State saw an excess of a foot of rain, close to 20 or 30 inches of rain or more as you head towards the PD and portions of southeastern North Carolina. Another storm that caused a lot of issues with its rainfall was Hurricane Ida just last year. Ida made landfall in Louisiana as a category four. It killed way more people in the Northeast due to its flooding rains and the enhancements that occurred there. And if, if people will remember what happened in the New York area, I mean, the subways were flooded. It was just massive floods. So we had a category four catastrophic landfall Great, only a handful of people lost their lives in the storm surge flooding. But then we had a tropical system transitioning to just a broad low pressure area, nothing major, wouldn't scare anyone, and we lost dozens of people. While it is important to know your risk when it comes to hurricanes, having a plan and being prepared for the tropical season is paramount. This week, we will talk about how to prepare ahead of the hurricane season so you can keep you and your loved ones safe. From the studio, I'm News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith. Thank uh you. -huh.